Hello everyone! This is another video experiment. And in this video I will take a car with an anti-wing and the same car without anti-wing. And we will see how the car will behave when maneuvering at high speed, when it has an anti-wing and when it does not. It will be interesting, let's get started! Now it's time to maneuver a little bit. Now we drive a car without an anti -win. I made exactly the same steering wheel movements, so let's see what has changed. On the Civetta I was too lazy to look for win in the car configuration, so I just ripped it off. Now it's having fun here. By the way, when I hit a wheel, my chassis was bent, but interestingly enough that the diagram of the car on the bottom left does not show this as a breakdown. And now on the contrary, I took a car that doesn't have an anti-win as a standard and put an anti-win on the second one. The result really impressed me. From that moment on I began to move the steering wheel smoothly to left and right, previously increasing the angle of rotation. Yes, the acceleration to 100 became greater, but when I started trying to turn the car, yes, I did not misspell it, I was trying to, because it did not care about my efforts. I turned the steering wheel to the maximum and the car just flew forward without paying any attention to me. Of course, it turned a little, but without any hint of skidding. The car just moved steadily forward. Now for the most intelligent and patient who have watched the video to the end and I hope have already subscribed to the channel, I will explain what an anti-win is and why it is needed and how it works. So what is anti-win? Anti-win is an aerodynamic body kit that changes the direction of air flows, aligns them and contributes to a softer body flow. As a result, the car experiences less resistance to airflow at high speeds, increases speed and reduces fuel consumption. The anti-wing is very similar in design to an airplane wing, but it is inverted. Another difference is that this element does not lift the car into the air, but rather presses it against the road surface. The higher the speed and the larger the area of the anti-wing, the stronger this effect is. Well, that's all, thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoyed the video. 
don't spare a like so that as many people as possible can see this video because it is really interesting. And also, not to miss new int and interesting auto experiments, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next videos.